Hey there, everybody! It's me, Angelita, and today is Christmas night, 9 p.m. But anyway, I am recording this on my webcam because I don't know where my camera is. Anyway, um, I just got a new violin for Christmas. Look at this, baby. Here, let me pull it out because it's gonna be super hard ever tuning this because my mom only knows how so this is my new viola i better not play it yet because um this is going to be a long video of me trying to prepare for playing my violin um we are going to start with rosining this i do not know where to set this because because nothing is supposed to touch the horse hairs. Tightening it. Okay. Okay, it's nice and tight. I hope I can put it right here. Okay. Going to open the rosin. I'm going to inform you that I already played it today so it will sound horrible. Just inform. Okay. Let's just do it. Okay. Great. Okay. This is time. Okay. No. Not time yet. Because I need to take this stupid thing out and Place it into the orange cap. Wow, it's already been two minutes. Okay. Time flies by fast for when I'm making the webcam videos. Anyway. Let us roll. Okay, we're going to start by making my computer. Okay. We are going to start. Yes. If you just got a violin, then you're in luck. It might come with this thing called rosin. It is a little cake that you wax your horse hair, the, um, the strings on the bow with. You just first you put it in the cap if it has a cap. Then you put it from the bottom. Then slide it down. You have to tighten it first. So. Do not rosin your bu your bow until it is tightened, or else it will um, make it all weird. And plus, um, do not make it go too fast because it will cause friction and it will make it go weird, like it is now. Okay. Sometimes you can put too much rosin on it, so that's why the dust that comes off when you're playing it is the rosin cake dust. My mom says to put lots of it, but when we first played it, like with me in it, she's like, you put too much rosin even though she's like, put more rosin. Okay. Okay, let's put a little bit more rosin. Oh, and tip. Please do not touch the horse hairs with your skin or else it will cause, or the oils in your hands can cause it to lose grip of these strings. I'm creating friction. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, did I mention? I'm wearing feetsies. Yeah. My parents are crazy. Anyway, okay. Let's start the horrible violin playing.
done with it you're supposed to loosen the strings to where it's almost touching the wood. Am I tightening it? I probably am. Oh wait. Okay. That's good. Now, we must... Now, when you're done, do not wax it. That is for later times. When you play it again. Because you've just... You've just already used some of your wax. So... Yes. Okay. It's nice and loosened. And then here is the violin. Now, for the violin, you'll need to, you will need to, if you've put too much ro rosin on the bow, some dust can fall off into right about here. So, you'll need something to wipe it up with, because it can cause it to get very dusty and look very old, even though I just got it today. I will, you need to carefully open up the case, which I have, and it's a very beautiful case. I got it. It came with the um, violin. It, I thought it was another small guitar. It's like, hi, huh, not another guitar. Okay. Here is a very beautiful case. Okay, you must... Sorry for the feet thing. Okay. Ah, and it is loosened. Which is nice and loosened. Okay. As you can see, it's nice and loosened because there's some stray hairs. Um, where's the rosin case? Now, um, your, your violin case might come with a spare wooden thing. <laughs> I don't even know how to play violin. This if it breaks and the rosin cake if you get the and then a few extra strings you want to put that in the first hole so be, so there's some space because there's some space between that you do not want to slam your case as it can result in violin or bow damage there, there might be a little convenient strap um, to hold down your violin when placed in there. It is really tough, so do not worry about your violin getting hurt because it fell out if it has these little. Now, it will make some sound like a guitar when you. 
See? Sounds like a new clue. Okay. You have everything on here, and when you've opened the package, it'll come like this. Just to make sure, you you want to put this on top again, so dust doesn't catch it from the top. And then you carefully close it, and then look for the zipper, and don't go that first, and then... <laughs> Ah, you're done. That is my trusty violet. Okay, now about the feetsies. I got a stupid feetsie. It's nice because it's for my mom's friend. But, anyway, it's nice because I got it for my mom's friend and she said that she's going to post it on Facebook. So please, do not try this at home. Anyway, about my Christmas card. I got... The coolest things ever. I got a PlayStation 3 for me and my sister and my family. And then I got a Spectra Wonder Guys thing. Spectra Wonder Guys thing. Um, I left her diary in here, I believe. And then I got some Japanese perfume. Mitts and scarves and then a, a brush pack. And then some... And then a wallet, a lot of stuff. But um, if you want to see my doll, I will post it in my next episode. Um, these have kind of been my vlogs. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, thank you. Sorry for the long video because of my violin. And good night and Merry Christmas.